Jane Garces today. I want to talk a little bit about the song by ZZ Top called LaGrange. A friend of mine asked me to uh, explain the fill just before the, the first guitar solo in that song, so I thought I'd do it here on YouTube. Um, I've noticed there's a bunch of videos out there uh, from you guys uh, playing LaGrange or explaining your take on it. And uh, some of the information's good, some of it not so good, but uh, this is my uh, interpretation of it. And I want to talk a little bit about the groove of the song. It's a, it's a shuffle, a blues shuffle. Um, pretty, pretty common, you know. Uh, it, it's a Texas shuffle. Frank Beard was probably like the master of the Texas shuffle. Um, but there's, there's hundreds of shuffles and feels and, and uh, a lot of great players that do the shuffles out there, uh, the Almond Brothers and you know, hundreds of blues players, but uh, without getting into the history of shuffles, uh, let's talk about this groove a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, in its simplest form, a shuffle is is a uh, it's like a sw it's a swing groove, so it's. You could play the same thing on the snare drum. With you, with your right hand, so you can go. If you want to add the bass drum in there, you could play uh, all four. Okay, then you can accent the two and the four on the snare drum. So. so that's pretty simple uh, shuffle. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get into more of the, the uh, specifics of LaGrange here in a minute, but um, there's another way to play a shuffle and that would be playing all the beats like a Basic shuffle can be applied to hundreds and thousands of blues songs, uh, including Lagrange, uh, Tush, um, any number of tunes. Uh, so, but g getting into the specifics of Lagrange, Frank Beard played um, just single strokes on the on the hi hat. So he was just going. His bass drum was playing a one, a three, a one, a three. Of course, I'm playing the song about half the speed. I think the beats per minute on that song is probably around 80 or something like that or 160 um, so given that if you play and then apply the shuffle on the snare drum so you'll be playing Basic part of Lagrange. Um, 
Now he plays it a little faster, and we'll, we'll pick it up a little bit. So it's a... So that's the basic groove of Lagrange. It, I think probably through the song, um, he probably changes his bass drum pattern up a little bit. Uh, I know I do when I play it live. Um, and of course, like anything, the more you play a song, um, you'll tend to start doing things your way. Uh, I know Frank Beard, I'm sure he doesn't play his song exactly like he played the record, so don't rack your brain trying to learn every every little detail on that unless that's just your personality um, <laughs> anyway um, so there, there you have the basic groove uh, let's talk about the intro a little bit because I saw some folks doing this a couple different ways and uh, they it all it any any way could be right as long as it sounds right so the way I hear it is uh, like I, I think I think it's a rough I, I haven't gone to be check my rudiments, but I think it's it's a I think that's a single stroke rough. So you got a double stroke on your left hand, or you could do it with your right hand, whichever you're comfortable doing. I'm comfortable doing it left-handed. So you got this this uh, double stroke and a single stroke. So it's just in that pattern. are doing it with single strokes so I'm not comfortable doing it like that so I, I the way I hear it is and then of course you have this and that's just a triplet So let me play uh, this this intro a little bit. I'll get into the groove, play the fill just before the guitar solo. I'll break that down for you a little bit, and then that's all I have to say about Lagrange. So. some of the groove and a couple of fills. I, I wasn't following any track or anything. I'm not listening to a click. I'm, I just have these on to protect my ears. Um, so that fill, just before the guitar solo, is a, is a triplet feel fill using the snare drum, the toms, and the bass drum. And it's uh, the threes. So, so you're doing, I, I lead with my left hand on this. So I'm doing the rack tom and floor tom. And I start with the snare. And it's a very open flam that I use. Um, I can't recall if, uh, how exactly he's doing it. And, and bear in mind, I'm not saying this is exactly like the record. I'm just, it's my interpretation. So...
Uh, if you don't know what a flam is, uh, it's uh, right stick high, left stick low. <laughs> left stick high, right stick low. Um, and if you're if you're new to drumming, then then I hope I hope this helps you. Um, the hardest thing for me to get is is actually getting into the fill and getting out of the fill back into the groove, nice and smooth. So <clears throat> if you can get comfortable with your shuffles. Um, I've read on some YouTube posts where folks think that Frank is doing that with a double bass, and he very well could be. Uh, I kind of searched it out, and I don't think Frank played a double bass back in 1973. I could be wrong, um, but I couldn't find any pictures. It's kind of hard to find some old pictures of ZZ Top. Um, everything's new with his crazy big drum set and everything. So, to me, the record sounds like he's playing basically what I play uh, with maybe a different configuration of toms or something but uh, so uh, so there you have it that's my take on LaGrange and um, I hope this has helped listen to if you like shuffles but don't get a chance to play them a lot uh, just listen to a lot of blues and uh, ZZ Top, Almond Brothers uh, a good friend of mine, Les DeMuro, is a great shuffle swing player, so check Les out. Uh, Steve Jordan, uh, he plays some great shuffles. So I'll continue to work on my shuffles, and uh, I'll, I'll see you around. Happy drumming. Oh, my God. Really?